Good afternoon. On the national news this hour from Babak Bagdadi Imo Television, BGI TV. Post the headlines. Tinumbu to end reign of terror in Southeast, says Shetima. Senate to pass 2024 budget today. Tracks before Tinumbu, Ariwa, Igbo, Yoruba, Middle Belt leaders. IG lands in Plato as residents flee 25 threatened communities. And on sports, captaining Super Eagles is more honorable than with the club. Moses Simon. I am Mori Rabi Lawa. The news in detail. President Bola Tinubu's administration will tackle insecurity in the southeast and long, Vice President Kashim Shetima assured. Gunmen are in recent years launched attacks in the region, killing many, destroying properties and kidnapping residents. But Shetima, who visited the Bende area of Abia State on Friday, said the president is worried about the economic devastation inflicted on the region owing to the assault promising to restore normalcy. Shetima also received a chieftaincy title on behalf of Tinumbu. It is uh, accurately aware that our commitment to Nigeria's future remains incomplete. As long as we grapple with the sinister operations of economic saboteurs who masquerade as advocate for the Indie Bowl. The Vice President said at the unveiling of the peace in the Southeast project by the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Benjamin A. Okezie Kalu. Senator Shetima noted that the gory activities of the criminals unfolding the Southeast captive are self serving and do not in any way represent the interests of Indie Bowl and the country. They said the terror groups that have held the region to ransom as are not a question of the people of the region or Nigerians from other parts of the country. The VP believes the criminals disrupting the peace in the southeast are doing so in connivance with forces exploiting the situation for dangerous political agenda, but says attempt to undo the hard work of nation's heroes parts will fail. The Senate is expected to commence plenary to pass the 2024 budget today. They recall that the Senate at on Wednesday, 21st December 2023, adjourned plenary till Friday, 29 December, to consider and pass the budget 2024 today at 1 p.m. The clerk to the Senate, Chine Du Akubuze, in a statement a few days later, had shifted the date till Saturday, 30 December 2023, at 1 p.m. 1 10 a.m. I beg your pardon, but in a new development made available to these men on Saturday morning, a cab was a said the plenary would now hold at 1 p.m. The leadership of the National Assembly had expressed its readiness to pass the 2024 budget before the end of 2023 in order to maintain the January December budget cycle policy of the federal government. Moving on to the next story. As 2023 winds down amid economic hardship, insecurity, scarcity of foreign exchange, high energy costs, unemployment and inflation that has depleted the MAG income of the working class, stakeholders have charged President Bolati Numbu on steps he must take to ensure that 2023 and 2024, a bigger pattern coming few days time, offers a better deal for Nigerians. Among those who add their views are various social, political, and cultural organizations, including our friend and Ferry, Ariwa Youth Consultative Forum, the Middle Belt Forum, Cultural Credibility and Development Initiative, economists, business owners, and officials of manufacturing associations of Nigeria also expressed their opinions. The group noted that economic hardship and inflation in the country have become unbearable, even as security, insecurity, and divisions along ethnic and religious lies threaten the country's unity. They charge Tinubu to take necessary measures as 2024 begins to make life worthy living in the country. The Inspector General of Police, Kayo Diabetoku, on Friday visited Plateau State following attacks on 25 communities by gunmen on Christmas Eve, which left over 150 persons dead. However, the visit did lead to reassure residents of the affected communities and neighboring communities who deserted the areas for fear of further attacks. 
The IG, who expressed shock over the killing, said he had ordered the commencement of a special operation to stem the tide attacks and killings in the state. Egberto Kungu visited Governor Caleb Muktuang in his office in Jos, also disclosed that the Assistant Inspector General of Police Zone 4, Aledu Musa, had been directed to temporarily relocate his office to Plitu State to ensure an effective operation. He said we have commenced a special operation in this state and have directed the DIG in charge of Zone 4 to relocate to Plitu. President Bola Tinumbu has ordered that the perpetrators of this heinous attack be fished out and face the full wrath of the law. I commence to rebel the people of Plitu and assure you of the full support of the police in tackling these menace. Plitu citizens should cooperate with security personnel. Criminals have declared war on citizens. Also, we need to join forces to fight the war against criminals. This war should not be seen as a war against a particular tribe, but against criminals. The governor commended the IG and his men for their effort in tackling insecurity, but called for improved intelligence sharing among security agencies. Nigerian oil producers will be required to supply 483,000 barrels per day to local refineries in the first six months of 2024. New regulations shows on Friday as Africa's largest oil exporter seeks to guarantee supplies for local refining. This is according to a report by Reuters on Friday. According to it, the Yudangote Oil Refinery and at least three government-run refineries are among the local refineries that are expected to begin operations in 2024. It stated that the 650,000 barrel per day Dangote refinery will receive the biggest volume of 325,000 barrel per day according to newly published domestic crude supply obligations guidelines from the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission. The commission data showed that six refineries were expected to be operational from 2024, with a total refining capacity of 864,500 barrel per day, meaning that all producers will be required to supply just over half of the crude requirements. It was a black day. A family of eight traveling home for the New Year celebration has died in an auto crash at the Amol Wozuzu Junction in the Ikeduru, local government area of Imo State. Information gathered that the incident happened around 3 p.m. on Friday when the father of a family who conveyed his wife and children in a Sienna vehicle ran into a stationary truck carrying an iron rod. Correspondent learned that some resident and policemen broke the vehicle to recover the bodies of the family members and deposited their corpse at the morgue. Confirming the incident, the divisional police officer in charge of Ikeduru, LGA, Loki Ayole, a chief superintendent of police, noted that a stationary truck was parked at the roadside when the driver of the CNA vehicle ran into it. Eight died and we are taking them to a morgue. We have to break the CNA vehicle to bring out the dead bodies. The road pierced their body at claimed. Governor Baba Jide Somolu, on recommendation of the Advisory Council on a pro Comparative Mercy has approved the release of 246 inmates from various correctional facilities across the state and a commutal of 39 inmates on their trial to life imprisonment. The governor signed the release and commutal orders on the 20th of December 2023 in cognizance of the New Year's celebrations. The exercise is in pursuant of the to the provisions of Section 212, bracket 1, bracket 2 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. The Advisory Council on Derogative of Mercy is reaching its recommendations exercised due diligence in its deliberations of the application in line with the applicable guidelines. The Council took note of the information provided by the correctional facilities, the nature of offense, period of incarceration, age, health, and behavioral conduct of the inmate. The approval for the release of the inmate is in line with the commitment of Mr. Governor to the Incogest Correctional Facilities in Lagos State as part of the Justice Drug Sector Reforms. Still in Lagos, the Lagos State Police Command has said it will not do guesswork in the investigation of the death of singer Ilerio Luwaloba, popularly known as Mobad. The State Public Relations Officer Benjamin Udain, in an interview with correspondent, reiterated that the command had not received the report of the autopsy con conducted on Mobad from the pathologist. Udain was responding to the demands of a civil social organization, the Take It Back movement, who during a press conference in the Keja, Lagos, sought the conclusion of the investigation into Mobad's death. The head of the general department of the group, Omorola Pedro, in a press 
text message available K hall on the police to stop the needless delays and make public its findings from the investigation and protect the rights of the diseased wife and child. The organization also feared that prolonged delay in the probe was capable of exposing Mobat's wife, Wumi, and child Liam to several attacks like cyberbullying, cyber stalking, organized malicious campaigns against their persons, and even physical harassment, alleging that this was a same faith Mobat suffered while he was alive. Pedro added that the police must immediately conclude the investigation and make its findings public. Reacting to contacted a uh, police spokesperson, Udehin, we are not the pathologists who carried out the autopsy. Finally, sports. Super Eagles winger Moses Simon has said captaining the Super Eagles was a big honor and can't be compared with captaining a club side. The Nancy forward, while speaking, further revealed that he was certain of having a successful career in football when he turned professional. With that sports story, we've come to the end of today's national news. Before we go, some headlines. Tinubu to end reign of terror in Southeast, says Chetima. Senate to pass 2024 budget today. We also brought to you tax before Tinubu, Arewa, Igbo, Yoruba, Middle Belt leader speaks. IG lands in Plato as resident flees 25 threatened communities. On sport, captaining Super Eagles is more honorable than with a club. For updates of our broadcast on YouTube, our handle is Baba Bagide in your television. Can you subscribe and click on the notification bell? Select option all to access all of our broadcasts. On Facebook, Bagade Imo with Alam Yia Adebayo. Please like and follow the page. For ad replacement of goods and services, coverage of events and function, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen. Thank you for watching. I am Moriri Rabila Lawa. May coming year be a prosperous and flourishing one. Amen. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle.